All right, I hope I can keep all this in the camera here. But uh, today we're going to be removing a uh, fox foot here in the shop, getting it ready to, uh, for tanning. So I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration on one foot, how I do it here in the shop. So you got, this is a front foot here, and I'm just going to split up through here, go right through the pad. Nice and straight. This is going to be a wall hanger here is what this is going to be. All right. Get it split open. There it is. All right, now, got this little clamp. I'm gonna clamp it in here, let me see. Da, da, da. Move that over. Um, are we good? There we go. All right, a little difficult when you're filming on your own. I'm gonna switch out this blade. <clears throat> Probably should have just done that right off the get go, but I try and save blades, so sometimes I'll uh, try them out a little bit from the last time, see how they do on this. All right, then you're just going to go down the side like this and just work, work those tendons and meat out of there. If you hear any background noise, my dogs are running around the shop here, smelling everything, checking everything out. All right, there we go. Got that side loosened up a little bit. Come here, this side of the pad. It's kind of, I just kind of hold it like a pencil most of the time when I'm doing delicate stuff. All right, so there's dew claw. Here's your dew claw. Coming up to it, this might be a question later, or maybe a question you have now. So we're gonna work down here, this dew claw, and there's a little joint on it. So we're not, we don't want very much on there because we're not tan, we don't need to tan the bones, you know, we're not gonna, we're not interested in any of that, we're just tanning hides here. So we just get down here, and there's this last knuckle right here on this joint and just kind of work it around a little bit with your knife come around there's a little piece of the tendons and things like that and you can kind of start to see that joint open up a little bit there it goes and it's kind of hard it's a pretty deep joint actually if you take a look at it there it is so we just want that, and that piece is only the piece here that holds the nail in. See that last joint? Okay. Now we got this. This is across the top of the foot, so we're just going to work our way down the foot. Sides. Top. Now what I do is I'll take the knife, I'll put it in here, and I'll work down this bone like that and separate the toes. So that way you can work them out on both sides individually because once you get down into them toe areas and the pad and stuff like that, it gets, it gets kind of hard. So, oh, sorry about that. Do a little reposition. Get that a little further on there. Get back a little more back in the screen here. So we're just going to kind of get down. Start working. Like I said, there's this. Get down there one toe at a time. Same kind of deal, you just want to get down to that last joint in the toe. That foot, there it is. It's out. 
come over here and work from this side. I'm going to stay on the outsides like that so we can oops, flip the tripod. Come in like that. Come in. We got to there's our joint. There we go. Cut that one out. Just be very careful. Watch your fingers doing this and stuff too. I mean, fingers are, <laughs> your, your fingers and your hands are gonna be the most important here. You know, you just gotta kind of watch what you're doing, work around. Not like I haven't cut myself doing stuff like this before. Just, you know, take your time. It's not really a get quick thing. I've done a lot of these and I'm, you know, and you just kind of, you never really get really fast at it. It's just how it is. There it is. Here, another joint. All right, there's the foot piece. Let's see if I can show you this. Whoop, there it is. So there it is there. And you can see this little fat here in the pads. So then what you do is you'll come in here like this and you'll just kind of carve that out. So I don't want to do it right now. I don't have my cut resistant gloves on, but I will get these little fat pieces out and then it'll be ready to be tanned. And there's how you uh, remove a foot off the fox.